Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue en France. Yes, today for my final leg of my world tour for 125, I have just popped over the channel into France. There won't be any more bad attempts at pronouncing French because I don't want to embarrass my French friends too much, but hopefully there will be some interesting stuff through the day. Despite its nearness to me, I haven't actually spent that much time in France, as you'll see from the Cheryl and Kevin go to video. I've only made a, a few visits, but it is a lovely place and the food is excellent. And that's uh, mainly what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so, because the Give It Up Challenge ends at six o'clock tonight, I'm not really going to be cooking an evening meal. So, I thought instead I would do breakfast and lunch. And that means that we're going to start with breakfast. Now, that full English breakfast thing is all very well if you're going to be spending an entire day rushing around at a convention or something and you need lots and lots of energy. But for day to day stuff, I'm perfectly happy with a continental breakfast. So let's see what I've got here. So we have some croissant. Fresh out of the oven there. Very yummy. We have got yogurt, French vanilla flavour, especially for today. We have got coffee in a French press. Um, because we all need to stay healthy at the moment, I have some jusage. And of course, chocolate. Oh, and if I'm still hungry, I can always eat the rest of my go banana. So, merci beaucoup, everyone. Thank you ever so much for uh, sticking with me thus far. Special thanks if you've donated to Help125. I've been having a lot of fun doing this, and I will see you in a little while for a French lunch. Welcome back, everybody. It is lunchtime here in virtual France, so I thought I would treat myself to a French lunch with some of my favourite food, which of course means cheese. So I'm well prepared. I have a baguette, which I've just cooked. I mean, it was one of these reheat at home things, but it's come out of the oven. It's nice and warm. And I have a full plate full of lovely French cheeses. So let's get the camera down on that and see what we've got. So, uh, normally when I would be doing this sort of thing, I would go to my lovely friends at Fine Food Company in Bath and get them to recommend some top quality French cheeses. But I've had to make do with what I could find in Tesco and Marks and & Spencers. And there are really quite a lot of different French cheeses there. We start with a well-known one. This is Camembert. It probably could do with being left a little bit longer because it's not quite gooey enough yet. But there we go, we will survive. Uh, we have also this incredibly gooey one here. This is Saint Felicien du Dauphin. It's from the Rhone Alp region and it's made using unpasteurized milk and it's exceptionally creamy. The, um, they say it's kind of quite a nutty flavor. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. And we've got a couple of washed rind cheeses here. First of all, this one, which is Longres, and that's from the Champagne region of France. And this one here, which is Epoisse, uh, also from the Champagne region. This one says that the rind is washed with Bourbon brandy for a spicy aroma. Well, certainly look forward to trying that one. What else have we got? A couple of, couple of cheeses that come as squares. So start off with Rebichet, which is, ooh, it's a sheep's milk cheese. I uh, can't quite see where in France it comes from, but it's got a nice picture of the mountains on it. So says so that that is this one and then the other one here 
this is Pave Dauphinois, um, which it says is a brie like cheese. Um, and so uh, I think both of these are from the Rhone Alp region, but I'm not entirely certain. Uh, this one here, which looks quite different, that is Comte, which is from way over near Switzerland. So um, that is from the Jura region. Um, and it does, in fact, uh, taste very like a Swiss cheese. Now, I ah, of course, we have the prize here, which we will save until last. This is Roquefort which is the best cheese in the world, bar none. And I say that as somebody who was born in Somerset, not very far from Cheddar. So that's a whole pile of cheese we've got. Now, of course, uh, if we're in France, we really should have some of this stuff, garlic. Um, so I've also got a little box of Boursin for some garlic flavored cheese but I have a fabulous smell of garlic in the house today because I have been cooking escargot. Those are snails. Um, so I managed to find them uh, actually uh, fairly recently um, in Aldi um, when I was doing a bit of shopping there. And they are a little complicated to cook because you have to try and get them out of the shell. But once you've done that, mm. oh. so they're, they're cooked in a garlic butter. So absolutely loads of garlic. That's fabulous, delicious. Well, I'm going to go off and enjoy that. And uh, that's me. Done from France. Um, if you're following the whole 125 recruitment campaign, I think we might be live online around six o'clock to see where we've got to at the end of our six days of fundraising. But thank you ever so much for any money that you've donated. I'm sure it will be very gratefully received. Au revoir and bon appétit.